us through the best looks of the night. The best looks, all right, Sam. So, Megan Thee Stallion really embraced the Gilda Glamour theme with this gold dress with a feathered mini cape. It made her look like a Greek goddess. And then fellow rapper Cardi B also looked stunning in gold. Lizzo's dress took 22,000 wow. hours to make, and she paired it with the best accessory, a $55,000 flute. <laughs> and then Cindy... She's a flautist. <laughs> she is. She's yeah. so talented. A flautist. Yes. And then we had... Uh, Kaya Gerber, so uh, she's Cindy wow. Crawford's daughter. She looked every inch the Hollywood starlet dressing girl. She, like she dated mermaid. Pete Davidson, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody I wonder if there did. were some eyeballs. Cool <laughs> Marilyn everyone dress. Has, everyone has. <laughs> uh, and then Janelle Monae oh, brought yes. some Gilda Glamour, but from the future she with this is the Ralph future. Lauren yes. look, exactly. Mm. But this has to be my best pick of the night. It was Blake Lively. It was an optical illusion dress. So it started out in a copper colour. But check it out. Wow. Men released the bow and then the skirt transformed into this teal green. So it was meant to be a tribute to New York architecture and the Statue of Liberty. Now, this is why the dress changed because when the Statue of Liberty first came to America, right. it was copper. And over time, it, um, it became oxygenized yes. and then it turned yes. green. So I was wow. in love with it. I mean, look at her husband. He's living for it as well. Oh. Couldn't take his eyes off her. Ryan Reynolds, what a gentleman. Oh. So I thought they were just, they stole the couple show for me. Yes. Now, I'm not the uh, expert at all, Steph. You are, you're my girl. <laughs> but I got to say, the winner of the Met was actually not even physically there. Who? Oh, it yeah. had to be Rihanna. Rihanna. Oh. Hello. Riri was gilded. She is what? literally a gilded goddess. There is an actual Where statue that? In, in the, the Met. Met. Oh, that's amazing. In the middle of it. Yeah. How you go win the show and not even go to the show? Wow. I know. I mean, but, she always brings a Ray game, but this time she's a little busy because she's back in Barbados about to have a baby. Yes. First ever baby. Next year, that'll be the best dressed person on the red carpet. Never mind the celebs. So mm. tell us about the worst dress. Oh, yeah, this is the most yes. fun, right? Okay, but okay. it's kind of disappointing. So there were definitely some misses, like Amy Schumer. Like, her black coat and dresses and sunglasses. It was so boring, so plain, very lazy. <laughs> maybe a little maybe a little men in blackish? Maybe they, stirring up something? I just think it looks... Well, then we need to Nobody all get, wipe our memories Nobody gets that reference. No. I don't like that shoulder, <laughs> like that loose shoulder. I don't mind it, but it does nothing for a figure. I'm sorry, with our shoulders like that. It doesn't look good. She's, yeah, she stood next to Venus in almost the same outfit, Venus Williams. Yeah. I thought it was a thing. They didn't do anything. No. <laughs> okay. They didn't do a thing. A very what about Jeff's favorite girl, Emily? Emily Ra Emma Ratajkowski. Emily Ratajkowski. Yeah, he loves okay. her stuff. He loves her. I mean, her. we all love her. She's gorgeous. <laughs> and But this is just not the dress code. Yeah, it's I agree. It's really inappropriate. It doesn't look right. It looks more Coachella yeah. than Met Gala. It's pretty, but it's not it. I pretty think she's just right. expressing how she feels. Oh, my gosh. I love this look. <laughs> you don't like this look? No. No. Gigi Hadid. She wore this Versace puffy coat, matching latex pants. Yeah. It reminded me of what Cardi B wore a few years ago. I love it. And, and I don't she think looks it's like a vampire. Special. But she I doesn't go it. gilded. I love it. Does it? She looks like a vampire dripping in blood. Sounds favorite. <laughs> um, and, okay, all the people wearing latex. We've got Tommy Dorfman. He looked so off theme. Again, I'm sorry. In this Christopher Kane um, cutout gown. I mean, stunning, stunning dress. Love the London designer Christopher Kane. This is very apt for his work. Um, hair and makeup on point. She looks great, but the dress is just not on theme. I can't do it. Yeah. Nicki Minaj with the black baseball cap and leather pants. A lot of people thought that was a miss as well. Mm. Well, it just doesn't go for me gilded. I don't get the baseball or the latex. Yeah, well, no. well, so do, the leather. Does, does not right? all the attendees, especially like if you look back at other Met Galas, not pay attention to the theme? Because I feel like they're not. It's I think rude. it's hit and miss. I think I do think it's rude. Right? I, I think you're right. I think we see some people, like obviously we see Billie Eilish going really all in, right? Um, we saw Erin limb as well going all in more of like a Bridgerton corset yes. yes. um, vibe I mean it is up, in, up for interpretation so and some people went gilded like metal gilded but some people just went like in the future the, Kylie did not pay attention to do you think Anna Wintour is upset about that I don't think she'll be upset and I think the thing is she's gonna get a hall pass because she was paying tribute to the late um, Louis Vuitton and off-white designer Virgil that was one of his dresses with the hat and everything don't think she pulled it off. No. Okay. So what about, did we see any like future trends? Yeah. Okay. We did. All right, Sam, this is so up your alley. Ooh. Gothic and sexy. It's got okay. your 
name all over it. Black is back in a really big yep. way. You'll be in heaven. Look at Lenny Kravitz. Oh, yes. He wore a black leather corset he and He looks cape. fantastic. I mean, he looks so rock and roll, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. And then we've got Bella Hadid going for the same leather. Oh, yeah. Lace look. Very, very sexy. Very raunchy. And <laughs> Katy Perry, <laughs> she normally goes all out. She kept it very conservative in Oscar de la Renta. She's out there. Thank you. <laughs> not turn up in a hamburger outfit yeah, yeah right. that was awful yeah that was bad and Vanessa Hudgens oh my favorite look of the night favorite oh, look I of the night I could see you wearing that yeah. it yeah. left nothing to the imagination she but it still it. is so chic and look at the, look she she embraces what the theme was about yeah, you can playful. see it in the shoulders and everything the yeah. cut of the dress but a modern twist nice Look at Jeff. Mm. Like, what? what are you thinking? Like, you're bobbing your head, you're <laughs> taking it all in, but what are you thinking? Here's what I'm thinking. These people are really good at pretending, and we're like, oh, that's all it is. What do they're, you mean? They're good at pretending to pretending be someone else what? and Get making dressed. a movie. They make a movie, and their dress changes color, and everyone's like, oh, yeah. Like the Berwyn wall moment. fell down. We need a moment. We've seen Lady Gaga do it in the past. You know, we but need that. We said saw Zend Zendaya do it when she turned into like Cinderella a few years ago. We need a moment. Well, you asked him what I was thinking. That's what I was thinking. You the think transition was, was perfect. You, do you think this Met Gala is sort of un unnecessary now? A little bit. Fair. You know what I mean? Fair. You're good at pretending? Uh, fair. I don't know. But well, isn't I don't know. That's Fashion. You play the flute well, so it takes 22,000 hours to make I your know, dress? I know, it's nothing like continuing to see the same ball go into the same hoop. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I like that. I like that, too. We're going to leave it there. <laughs> Don't ask me how I feel. <laughs> That's my job.